Welcome to Because. We have a great show planned for you today. We'll start out with Kathleen as she checks out our family egg decorating night at CRC. Next, Melissa will be at our volunteer reception at Chandler's. And we'll conclude today's episode with Stacy as she checks out the underwater egg extravaganza at Waterworks. Stick around, we'll be right back after these messages. My name is Kathleen Benson with the Schaumburg Park District. Tonight we're at the CRC for the family egg decorating night. Our friends have brought their eggs, brought some fun, and are ready to go. So we're going to decorate some eggs, have a snack, make a craft, and then we're going to go on a flashlight egg hunt. So come along! We just finished the egg hunt out here and we're with one of our friends. What's your name, honey? Jillian. Jillian, how old are you? Seven. And what was your favorite part about tonight? The Easter egg hunt. How many eggs do you think you got? Uh, over 20. Oh, that's pretty good. Have you been a good girl this year? Yes. Do you think the Easter Bunny is going to bring you some stuff uh, in a couple weeks? Yes. What, anything you want in particular? Well, kind of. Oh, are you going to ask for some candy? Yes. Yeah. All right, Jillian. Well, we're a little chilly out here, so we're going to go. Let's say bye to the camera. Bye. <music> All right, we're back here at the Flashlight Egg Hunt with uh, these two girls. I think they might be sisters. What's your guys' names? Shreya. Ashley. How old are you, Shreya? Eight. And how about you, Ashley? Six. And what was your favorite part about tonight? The eggs. The, decorating them or finding them? Finding them. And what about you? Same thing. Same thing. And uh, what? how many eggs do you think you found? 50. 50? Wow. And what about you? 20. 20? That's pretty good. You're a little bit younger, so a couple less eggs for you. All right. Uh, what about you girls? Um, what are we asking for the East, from the Easter Bunny this year? Another dog. Another dog? Wow. And uh, do you want a dog too? Yeah. Yeah? Wow. Oh, uh, have you girls been good this year? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You think the bunny's going to bring the doggy? Yeah. All right. Well, uh, maybe we'll see if those wishes come true on Easter morning for these little girls. <laughs> All right. I think the, these two just finished the flashlight egg hunt, too. What's your guys' names? Gavin. And yours? 
Madeline. And how old are you? Six. Eight. And are you guys brother and sister? Yes. Oh, nice. And what was your favorite part about tonight? Finding the eight. What about you? Same with me. I found a lot. A lot? Do you think you had more than like two? Uh-huh. Yeah. And what about you? How many do you think you got? 100. 100. Wow. Well, we did have 700 out here, so I bet these two together probably found at least 100. <gasps> have you guys been a good little boy and girl uh, this year? Mm, we fight a lot. <gasps> you fight? We don't get along. But we're still good. You're still good. Do you guys say sorry after you fight? Sometimes. Oh, okay, okay. Well, that's good. At least you guys make up and you guys love each other, so that's important. What do you think the Easter Bunny is going to bring you? Maybe some candy? Mm. Yeah. Well, do you like candy? Um, I would like some candy, too. Candy? You, what else did you say you wanted? Mm. Legos? No, Gavin wants like, um, one time we had an Easter hunt in our house with it. Yes. Um, oh. And also one time at our Easter, egg, at our house, we actually found, I found something on the shelf where my dad puts his Lego pirate ship. Oh, wow. I found Metal Beard's pirate ship. Wow. Well, well, maybe you guys will have a fun Easter morning, too. Let's say bye to the camera tonight, and we'll go in and go get warm. Bye. All right, we're wrapping up here at the Family Egg Decorating Night at the CRC. We had a great time. We found Easter eggs. We got goodies. We had a snack. We made a craft and even decorated our own eggs to bring home. So you missed out. We hope to see you again next year. Thanks so much. There's nothing like heading to the golf course after a long, hard winter and opening day is finally here. See it up at the Schaumburg Park District Golf Courses, Walnut Greens, and the Schaumburg Golf Club. After you've enjoyed a day in the sun, stop by the newly renovated Chandler's Chop House for a delicious meal. Chandler's Chop House is located at the Schaumburg Golf Club. You can't beat a day of golf and good food. Learn more at parkfun.com. Hi, Alyssa Tesno here reporting for Because. I'm at Chandler's at our annual volunteer reception. It's a big night where we recognize all of our outstanding volunteers. It's a lot of fun, so let's go check it out. And I'm here with Rosemary and Lynn, two of our wonderful volunteers. Um, ladies, how long have you been volunteering for the Park District? For more than... 40 years. <laughs> wow, that's a long time. What about you? Well, I'm half of that. Yeah. That's still a really long time. Wonderful, and, and thank you. And what do you find, what do you enjoy the most about volunteering? I love to be outside and do things out there, but I also love all the people that volunteer and the staff that I work mm -hmm. for. Lovely. The, you love uh, the group of people and all of that. That's wonderful. What about you? Well, I can add to that. I love the people I, I work with. I, I love the people at Spring Valley, but I also love the people who come to visit. 
you can't all oh yeah the, well you know because it's all it's not just our community it's the variety of people that come it's wonderful all the people that come are marvelous yeah. Dennis is a brand new volunteer for us so Dennis tell us tell everyone what brought you to the Schomburg Park District um, well we've been involved with a number of activities I mean the golf and the CRC is very close by um, after retiring last year I really wanted to uh, spend a little bit more time and I've got an opportunity with Heartbeat to uh, be involved, a little bit behind the camera, and hopefully doing some interviews. Awesome. Um, and what are you most excited about? I'm sorry? What are you most excited about? Well, I, I think the enthusiasm, the number of people that are giving time to do things in the park district to have fun, I think that's kind of exciting. On a few uh, activities that I've been involved in, uh, I've heard some very good stories, and we've got a chance to cover some things that are really a lot of fun. <laughs> We're very happy to see everyone here tonight to celebrate the Park District's wonderful volunteers. It's a wonderful to recognize the dedication and hard work <laughs> and for us to give back a little bit to you volunteers. Uh, each year I try to pick out a, 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 a different quote based upon volunteerism and I found a, a unique one that I thought was appropriate for, uh, for this year. See if you can figure out why. It says, volunteering is the ultimate exercise in democracy. You vote in elections once a year but when you volunteer, you vote every day about the kind of community you want to live in. It's now my pleasure to introduce our Park Board Chair, Sharon DiMaria. Good luck with the microphone. Okay, let's see. If it was broken before, watch what happens now. I'm Sharon DiMaria on um, the board, your board. I'm uh, serving president until May. I found myself showing up even when I didn't need to show up because I was getting back so much more by meeting wonderful people like this in, in this room tonight, the people that I work hand in hand with on the board, some of the people that are most important to me in my life, I found through volunteering. So I think I can speak for all of us that the, the good feelings that we get that come back to us are worth so much more than what we put into it. Well, I get the pleasure this afternoon to uh, introduce uh, another group of, uh, of park district volunteers, uh, the Schaumburg Park Foundation Board. Um, for those of you that uh, don't know, uh, the Foundation Board is a fundraising organization that uh, works through, uh, we raise money through uh, events and, uh, and fundraising opportunities, uh, but we support uh, the park district either through things like um, supplementing uh, construction of new parks or recreation areas like Bison Bluff over at Spring Valley. Uh, we also provide uh, money for scholarships that the Park District uses to uh, give families uh, memberships to uh, the recreation centers or to the pools um, or uh, programming, summer programming for some of our at-risk uh, children in, uh, uh, in Schaumburg as well. So, um, we can't do that really without the community coming out and supporting our events, and so I thank you all for that. So we'll move into the uh, awards presentation, and, and speaking of Justin, Justin's our new Director of Communications and Marketing. We'll have him come up and uh, give out his award. Schaumburg Heartbeat is a monthly show that delivers useful information to the senior community. Since 2000, it has been a mainstay in the district's cable channel lineup. From the beginning of its run, our Communications Volunteer of the Year has been a cornerstone of that show. He is involved in everything from content development, recording shows, on-screen interviews, coordinating the production meetings, and recruiting new volunteers. His fellow volunteers describe him as helpful, encouraging, patient, and kind. His enthusiasm for volunteering comes through in the meticulous care he puts into his work, his camaraderie with fellow volunteers, and his smile, which is always present. His service to the district and the senior community are invaluable. Please help me in congratulating our 2017 Communications Volunteer of the Year, Bert McDonald. Uh, Judy Vito, Volunteer Coordinator at Spring Valley.
Um, uh, it's really important that you understand that no matter how you helped out the Park District, you really did make a difference this year. And over the years, I've learned that there is a job for every volunteer and a volunteer for every job, though the latter sometimes takes a little bit longer to get to. <laughs> Moving along, I'm going to go and start um, telling you about the volunteer who won our Spring Valley Volunteer of the Year Award. She began volunteering with us in, 20, in 2010, so it's been around a number of years. Even when she started out, she kind of stuck out as a special volunteer because of her enthusiasm and willingness to learn and try new things. While most of her time, you can find her at the farm, helping with the interpretive program, dressed in period clothing. She also has um, displayed her thespian skills with us at Haunting in the Valley. She's shown her love for history by assisting visiting reenactors at some of our events. And her culinary talents are making pancake batter at Sugar Bush and sharing her baked goods at meetings and our country fair bake sale. I'm proud and honored to present this year's 2017 Spring Valley Volunteer of the Year Award to Caitlin Ball. Moving to the Recreation Volunteer, it's my pleasure to introduce uh, Kathleen Benson. Hi, my name is Kathleen Benson and I'm in charge of the Recreation Sector of the Volunteer Program here at the Schaumburg Park District. 2016 was a busy year for the Recreation Department and volunteering opportunities. We currently have over 103 active volunteers completing over 5,200 hours of service this past year alone and over 75 opportunities. I would now like to introduce Lisa Perone, the Senior Center Coordinator, who will announce this year's recipient for the Recreation Volunteer of the Year Award. He's a selfless man who not only takes care of his family, but he also, also takes care of his Park District family. And um, I'm proud to call him one of my seniors. Uh, please congratulate our Volunteer of the Year, Mr. Bill Mayshek. two individuals and ironically enough they both uh, pertain a little bit to volunteerism as well. Um, recently uh, in, in January Commissioner Dave Johnson was recognized by the Illinois Association of Park District as the Commissioner of the Year. So Dave Johnson if you could stand up and be recognized. And, and the next one's a staff person and he probably won't be happy that I'm mentioning it but our uh, Superintendent of Recreation Vince Kennedy was recognized uh, by the Illinois, uh, by University of Illinois and received the Joe Joseph Bannon Practitioner Award for showing innovation in community service and support in the fields of park and recreation at a state and local level. Congratulations to Vince. He's, he's up the back of the room. Once again, uh, I'd like to have a chance to thank not only you, the volunteers, but the Park District staff for a great job last year. We're looking forward to a lot of good stuff for, for 2017 as well. And that's a wrap at our volunteer reception. We hope you enjoyed it. We had a lot of fun. For information on how you can volunteer, be sure to check out our website, www.parkfun.com. I think we have a terrific team of trainers. We all sort of excel in different areas. You need to be paired up with someone who works well with what you need. I would hope that people would want to come to me because of the personal attention that I give each and every one of my clients. I will give you everything I have to make sure that you can accomplish what your goal is. It's a priceless moment that I relish. and I'm here at the Waterworks. We are at the Underwater Extravaganza. We have bunny rabbits, we've got kids in bathing suits, we've got pails. We've got so much fun. We've got dancing and a DJ. Come along while we go see what's going on tonight. What's your name? My name is Zach. 
Hi, Zach. How old are you? I'm eight. You're eight? So, I've been here a lot of years, and I think you have too, right? Yes. Yes? So, do you remember the first time you came here? Yes, I do. How old were you? I have no idea. No idea, but it's been a lot of years, right? Yes. So, what's your favorite part about the underwater extravaganza? Um, getting eggs and going down slides. Going down slides? So, when you were little, what was your favorite part about this? Um, just doing eggs. Doing eggs, lots of eggs and fun. And you like to swim? Yes, I do like yeah. to swim. And I hear you kind of like to dance too, right? Yes. yes. You know how I know that? Every year since he was about a year and a half old, we've danced together. Right? Yes. Yes. Should we dance for everybody? Yes. All right, let's go. Ready? What's your name? Kalisa. Kalisa? How old are you? Kalisa. Kalisa? How old are you? Three. Three. Kalisa's three. And what's your name? Ben. Ben? How old are you? Six. And Ben is six. Are you guys having a great time? Yes. Yes, are you having fun? Three. Yes, what's your favorite part? Are you guys having a great time going down the slides? Yeah. Did you see the Easter Bunny? Yeah. Yes. Should we go get a picture with the Easter Bunny? Yeah. Let's go all together. Ready? Okay, say bye. What's your name? Brandon. Brandon, how old are you? I'm uh, seven. Seven, and what's your name? Lexi. Lexi, how old are you? Seven. Seven, everybody's seven. I'm almost seven too. Just uh, kidding. So what have you guys done tonight? Um, we've been hula hooping. Hula hooping, did you hula hoop? Yes. Yes, who won? Um, me and Lexi. Oh my goodness, what else have you done? Uh, we've been looking for eggs and going down the slide. Looking for eggs and going down the slide. I don't think it gets better than that. What are we going to do next? Um, a hula hoop contest. Let's go hula hoop. Are you ready? Here we go. What's your name? I'm Liliana. Liliana, how old are you? I'm 12. 12, and what's your name? Leo. Leo, how old are you? Um, seven. Seven, oh my goodness. So this is kind of fun for all ages, right? Yeah. 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 What's your favorite part? Um, probably the swimming. The swimming. What's your favorite part? Um, I like swimming and looking for Easter eggs. Looking for Easter eggs, what's your part? I like um, um, diving for toys. Diving for toys, swimming, looking for Easter eggs. Have you guys seen the bunny? Yeah. Yeah. Did you get a picture with the bunny? Not no. yet. No, not yet. We think it's creepy. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for coming to the Underwater Extravaganza. I hope you had a great time. 
If you happen to have missed it, come on out next year. We have eggs, we have water, we have slides, we have snacks, we have crafts. We've got everything and the Easter Bunny. It doesn't get better than that. Great picture opportunity. So come on out and have some fun. And remember, always take time for some fun. We hope you enjoyed today's show. Thanks for tuning in, and don't forget, take time for fun.